Smoke. Welcome back, YouTube. I've been away for a couple of days, a couple of like almost a week. Okay, some kind of stuff happened. I was looking at trying to do some more like videos. I was trying to do some more like animations and stuff, but uh, I kind of got sidetracked and ended up just focusing on the animations and stuff. We'll be coming on a couple of more videos coming up. Kind of more cool stuff, making it look all a bit more professional. So what we're going to do today is, my friend was throwing away some juice out of his collection, and I saw this. It was an element bottle. I've never, ever bought an element juice. I've never been bothered to buy it. I've never thought about trying it. So I decided to go, like, you know, can I finish it off? And so he let me try. He was going to bin it anyway. So the one he's given me is Element Crem... Crema, CRM03. And I mean, looking at the packaging, it's actually pretty cool. Premium, like, vape juice. Dripper juice. Dripper series. And it does look, it kind of looks like we you science lessons when you had the, like, element board thing. So it looks pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and do a smell test. This is going to be a quick video, because I kind of haven't thrown one up in a while. With, like I say, all the side tracking and, like, trying to make the animations and stuff. So... I need a quick taste review. It's almost empty. Fake vanilla. Do you know like them when you're baking and you get like the uh, vanilla essence and you open it up and you think, oh, this is going to smell fucking crazy, man, and then you smell it and it doesn't smell nice at all. It's kind of like a sweet, dulled down smell. Like, if someone gave me a blue jar with no label on it, and just said, oh, you need to vape this, and I smelt that, I wouldn't vape it. So, it's just something about that, it's, it's too, it's way too sweet. It smells like whipped cream with sugar in it. But, we've seen it before, the smell's deceiving. So, we're going to go ahead and try it out. Okay, guys, I've loaded up the dripper. It's a velocity RDA We're on the RX200. You can already see how much I've, like, covered this in juice. It is dripping everywhere. I'm going to clean that up. Got to keep care of your mods. Okay. Whew. Smoke. Ooh. Okay, opinions changed instantly. My smell test was kind of right. That tastes like whipped cream. Like a premium brand in the can whipped cream kind of thing. Super sweet, like super, super sweet. I do not have a clue what that'd be like in a tank. I have not got enough to try it in a tank, so it's only literally a dripper test. Go open up the air holes a bit more. Let's see what type of cloud we can get. Creamy though. If you like cream, and you you really want like a milk flavor or like a sweet cream flavor, this is probably better than some of the other milk flavors I've tried. Well, that's not bad. Bear in mind, I'm only running that on 85 watt on a 0.4 build. So that's pretty good. Yeah. So that one is the Elements Juice Crema. And do you know what? That is really, really sweet. I don't know about an all day vape because that's kind of like. Whew, that is really sweet. Like it's almost like the. Like I use 0.3. That would make me feel sick just from the flavour, more so than like chain vaping. So like I'm going to say that's going to score solidly a 3 out of 5, because when I do dripping, I only do dripping if I'm going to try flavours out. I'm not really one that kind of like walks around dripping. I always have a tank. But that one is so sweet. I'm going to have a go. And it's creamy. There's nothing else to it. Like, I was only saying the other day to my friends, like, these juices you end up buying, like, some of them sound so nice, and then, like, they said, like, nutty and frosted and sugary and sweet. 
and you do try them after getting sold into it, and it's just not what you expect it to be. You don't taste nuts, you don't taste the cream, you don't, it just ends up like one flavour. So I was saying, why do they just make juices that are like just cherry or just cream or just milk flavour, and that's it. And for, if you wanted a cream, like a whipped cream flavour, that is exactly it. Maybe a bit sweeter than whipped cream. I don't know. Last time I tried whipped cream was a while. It's good. Overall, three out of five. If you guys want to try a cream vape, you guys want to go grab a hold of it. And like I said, and there's the bottle. The bottle alone looks pretty sick. I mean, these are nine ninety nine from my uh, local vape shop, Rebels. And they sell these in like uh, 20 mil bottles. I don't think they have many bigger than that. But yeah. So if you want a cream vape, you go ahead and try one of these. Okay? That was a quick, easy, and to the point review. Creamy, sugary, and very, very sweet. If that's your type of vape, go ahead and try it. And if, again, this has been Lewis from Royal Flush Vaping. Peace. Okay guys, that was a quick video. <clears throat> like I said, I'm tinkering around with some new animations and stuff for the channel. I've had a few more subscribers and a few likes, so I'm really grateful for all that. Again, if you guys want to see more reviews, I've got a load more coming up, and I'm going back to my daily. I promise I had a little break because I was kind of flipping out. My car blew out, my tyre burst. Oh, it was a nightmare. I'll tell you about it in another video. What I'm going to do is throw a couple of videos up the top for you guys to look at. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I have got some cool videos coming up. We've got the Haze Dripper review. We've got the Velocity review. We've got the Kanga Tank and the Kanga Mod to review. And we've got some other cool special treats coming up as well. So make sure to stick around, subscribe, like the channel, like the video, and share it so people can see it. Okay, until next time, tomorrow, I've been Lewis from Royal Flush Vaping.